Fake news articles, outrageous and salacious, bedeviled both presidential campaigns. Now, in an investigation for 60 Minutes, we have looked into how nonsense on one website breaks out to become a trending article on Facebook or Twitter. We discovered that some fake news publishers use fraudulent computer software called bots to make the articles appear to be wildly popular. Bots are fake social media accounts. Jim Vidmar knows all about bots. He's a consultant who helps products or people get noticed on the internet. So when we're talking about these bots, these are Twitter accounts masquerading as real people. That's right. By the thousands? Millions. We did an experiment with Vidmar's help. We bought 5,000 bots from a Russian website. They cost us just a few hundred bucks. And I'm gonna tweet from my account, what happens when 60 Minutes investigates fake news. So tweet that out. And there it is. Normally, I would expect real people to retweet my message a few dozen times. Vidmar programmed our bots to retweet my message, and then he turned them loose. Hit it with everything you got. Let's hit it with everything we got then. Now you got, now you got 3.2 thousand retweets. Right Wait there. a minute, I went from 300 to 38,000? Yeah. Uh-huh. 3,400, now it's 4,400. Now it's 4.4 thousand, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that matters because Facebook and Twitter base their ranking of trending subjects on their popularity. The retweet of a bot looks just like the retweet of a person. On Sunday on 60 Minutes, we'll show you how fake news publishers turn fake boosts from bots into real money.